So we did the, uh, we first did a full custom paint job on it. And what it is, it's a, it's a paint done by Spies Hecker. The car was actually painted from the company. Some a rep came in and they did the full paint work on it. We mixed uh, three different colors before we chose this one. And based off of this is where we went into the interior and did the orange and black to kind of pop with the color. We did the D2 Forge, 22 in the rear, 19 in the front wheels, all custom fit to, to kind of fit the car and make it look good. And what we wanted to do is kind of bring home the hot rod essence of the car, uh, kind of keep it old school. We took out all the bumpers uh, from the front and the back and, and did the body kit features on it because the, the bumpers that house the lights, uh, the signal lights for these cars, they take away from the flow of the vehicle. So we wanted to keep the design true to what it was. So we took out the obstacles, so to speak, and kind of retrofitted it with parts that would complement the body and make it true. What about the interior? What are you doing there? So the interior, we did the. We actually took the stock seats out. We retrofitted a, a, a set of other seats from another car. It was actually from a Pontiac. We did the diamond stitch throughout, and then we did the, the orange kind of sorbet leather in there to kind of really make it pop. There's custom stitching. Uh, fabrication, I mean the works in there, with a mild light audio sound system in there as well. Give, give us some, some, some more detail in terms of like, look at the interior of that door. Like what did it really take to make that happen? What are we talking about here? You buying the raw leathers, cutting them to fit, whatever design you I mean what, what exactly is involved in the process for you guys so what what we had to do first before anything we had a planning phase and a planning phase of what we wanted to accomplish and, and kind of once we nailed the paint down and we knew what we were working with then we jumped into the interior and said all right how are we gonna bring this home so we looked against the paint we said okay we can go with uh, at first we were thinking a little darker then we said hey we can go a little lighter with this let's make it pop because this is an eccentric design it's a totally unconventional vehicle and that's what we went with. So that's where the orange came in. With the stitching and the, and the diamond, the reason we had to do that was, if you did the orange all the way through, you would have so much glare, you wouldn't be able to drive the car. So the black and the stitching kind of ties, keeps the orange in, going, but it kind of dr brings it down just a little bit where it doesn't become too overwhelming and kind of, uh, a, a, you know, creates a headache environment. And so once we held, we did some black and the stitching there, we had to kind of, make it all symmetrical and kind of flow into the rest of the vehicle. So that's where you, you see the black and orange accenting going. And where did the stitching come from, for example? Did it come like that? You no, 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 no. All the pieces are bought in hides. They're, they're bought in, in, in leather hides. And then everything is custom hand wrapped and, and wow. fabricated to, to build it in. So if you look at the door panels, the speaker pods that are in there, all custom fabricated. Everything is wrapped and pre pre prepared to, to make this happen. So you have materials and then you have a ton of hand time and labor to really bring out, pull off a finish like this. And how many people to do it and how long did it take? So it takes, a, it takes a couple of people, a lot of time and a lot of patience to get it right because you, what you want to do is you want to recreate the vision. And in order to do so, you got to have the right hands on it. So it's intricate, maybe two, three people have worked on it. It does take a little bit of time because of the planning, because of the process, and because of making sure we get what we want out of it. But as you can see, everything's symmetrical in the sense that the black, the stitching, the accents, the orange, it all ties together in every part of the car. So it's like a few months maybe? Yes, this build, we started it uh, in January and we were finishing up, and this is between the paint, the wheels and everything. It was being brought out by, uh, I wanna say June. It took about six months for us to have it fully done and ready to, to display.